welcome to the library down with Miss James. I heard that some of my friends were learning about seeds in science, so I thought I would read a book about seeds. And I have lots of those kind of books, but the first one that came to my mind was The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. And so then I was like, well, I've got to wear my Eric Carle shirt. You know, he wrote Hungry Caterpillar also. Um, he's a great author and a great artist too. I love all his work. So we'll read The Tiny Seed today. The Tiny Seed. And it looks like by looking at the cover, what is the tiny seed going to grow into? I'm thinking, uh, maybe a flower? Yeah, I think so too. Okay. So, it is autumn. What's another word for the season autumn? Fall. That's right. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them across the land. One of the seeds is tiny. It's itty, itty, itty. And you can see it trailing back here. You see how much smaller it is than the other seeds? That are, these are seeds. This one is itty bitty back there. Smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? You can see the winds blowing. One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up. It goes, it flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. Oh, look at that, it just burned it right up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. And there's our tiny seed at the back, trying to keep up. Another seed lands on a tall icy mountain, uh-oh. The ice never melts there. And the seed cannot grow. Can't grow on top of ice, can it? The rest of the seeds fly on. But the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. You can see our friend, the tiny seed's way back here and the others are moving on. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water. <gasps> and drowns. Oh no. Mm. See it right here. Mm. Can't grow in the water, can it? The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. Right here is our tiny seed. It's not near as high as it's close to that water. <gasps> it doesn't fall in. One seed drifts down onto the desert. Uh-oh, what's the desert like? Hot, yes, hot and dry, yes. It is hot and dry, and that seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low. Where, oh, right here, you see. But the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops. And the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. And I want you to see, it's so small that the bird doesn't see it. So right here, look how, you see the other ones, you can see pretty well. See the one in the bird's mouth? Yeah, well this one right here is the tiny seed. It's so little, the bird didn't see it. So it's safe. Now it is, what season does this look like? Winter. Yeah, you can see, what is this? Snow. It is winter and after their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they're going to sleep in the earth. And there they are. And there's our little seed right here. You see any bitty? But the others, they settle down inside. So this is underground. This is the top of the ground. So they're under the ground. Snow falls and covers them like a white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. <gasps> oh, I'm glad he didn't get our little seed. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. 
What comes after winter? Well, it's season. Spring. Spring. Look at those beautiful colors, blues and greens and dark brown and oranges and yellows. Love springtime. After a few months, the snow has melted and it is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines and the rain falls. The seed grows so round and full, they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth and then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and air. And there's another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. Ah, oh, so you see how much bigger this one is? It's, it's grown so fast. Sometimes this really does happen. Sometimes my plants that I plant, just, well, some of them are so big and beautiful and the other ones are a lot smaller. But this one's gotten really big. And it is a big, fat weed. And I have these and they grow super fast out in my yard and they drive me crazy. I'll get them all and I know the next day I come back, there's more. Mm-hmm. It takes all that sunlight. It just pulls the sunlight in and it takes it all. And it takes the rain away from the small new plants. And see the new little plant down here, this one? Because this one was so big and covering it, it died. Mm. But you know what? Our tiny little seed still has not started to grow into a plant. It's so little right here. See how small it is compared to the others? Oh. So, it's okay right now that they're taking more of the sun and rain. Then the warm weather also brings the children out to play. <laughs> oh, they too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along. And, oh, oh no! He breaks one. Oh no. <sighs> now it cannot grow anymore. Hmm. Glad he didn't step on ours. You see our friend is over here. It's a lot smaller than the others. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast now, but its neighbor grows even faster. And before the tiny plant has three leaves, one, two, three, the other plant has seven and look, a bud. And now even a flower. Wow, it grew way faster, didn't it? But, oh no, what's happening? First, there are footsteps, and then a shadow looms over them, and then a hand reaches down, and it breaks the flower off. Oh no. A boy has picked a flower for to give to a friend. Mm, that's sweet. But, and I love pick flowers, but once you pick them, they're not going to live much longer, are they? Mm -mm. Well, now, what season are we to now? After spring comes, summer! It is summer, and now, whoa! The tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It just grows on and on, and it doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the water rain waters it and it has many leaves and it grows taller and taller and it is taller than all the people. It is taller than the trees. Wow. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it pretty flower and people from near and far come to look at the flower because it's so big there's not this is so unusual you don't see this it is the tallest flower they have ever seen it is a giant flower that is a giant flower have you ever seen a flower that big me neither wow mm -hmm. and all summer long the birds and the bees and the butterflies come to visit that big big flower Look at all those birds and butterflies. Oh, and the bees. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower either. This is even unusual to them and it's plenty of food for them. But now, we've cycled back around. 
What season are we back to? Autumn or fall. Now the days grow shorter and the nights grow cooler and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. There they go. And by. The wind blows harder and the flower has lost almost all its petals. It sways and bends away with the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. And once more, the wind shakes that flower. And this time, the flower seed pod opens and out comes many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. Just like the beginning of the story when the seas started flying in the wind, right? Yeah. Cool. So, it's just like it all cycles back around, right? So all those little seas are gonna start flying and some are going to fly all the way until it's finally planted in a safe place, but some may, where, the, the, where did the other seas go? the ocean and the desert and does anybody remember? Can somebody remember any other place? The top of an icy mountain? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, and even I remember one went all the way up and closer to the sun and then it burned up. So there's lots of different things that might happen to those seeds, but some are gonna make it and some are gonna turn into beautiful plant flowers, just like this one that we talked about. So how cool is that? So it is a cycle and it just starts over and the whole process happens again. And um, I hope that maybe you've gotten to plant a seed. Um, you can get seeds right now at stores and I know you're probably not going to any stores, but if your parents go, you can get a little pack of seeds. They're so cheap and you can plant one in a Coke bottle or something like that. Put it in your windowsill and it starts to grow. Then you can go and plant it outside. And um, it's great to watch something that you planted grow. It's so cool. I hope that you are having a great day. And I hope to see you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.